Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be going over Hammer, the Hammer Editor for Source SDK. First off, go to File New, and let's. And when you come up, you'll have a camera view, a top X Y, front Y Z, and a side X Z. As you can see on the left side, you have these buttons. These buttons are your controlling and your editing tools. On your right side, you got some windows, textures, uh, objects, and other windows. Here you have your uh, file edit map view tools window windows. Okay, to start off, let's go into our block tool. Our block tool is this square right here. Right now, let's draw a square about mm, that big. And now, let's click Enter. This now makes the object. Now, go to our camera tool. Click and hold and drag till the red line faces our object. Come in our camera view press Z. You can now move around with the mouse. Just move around with the mouse. And the controller camera is the same way you play the game. WASD. Okay. To edit this, you want to use the selection tool. Make sure it's selected. Come into one of these views here. Press your left bracket to decrease the grid size which makes a more precise tuning let's make a wall by making about that size rectangle let's move it up one let's carry this up Press enter and now create it. To duplicate this wall, get out your selection tool, hold shift, and while still holding shift, click and drag all the way to the other side. While still holding shift, release your mouse button and it should duplicate. You do the same thing again, duplicate another one into the middle. What you do when the four arrow key comes up, click once, and you will have circles come up. This allows you to rotate your object. Let's rotate this 90 degrees. We can now move that into place. Now duplicate this and move it to the other side. You now have four walls. To texture these walls, you want to go and you want to do your selection tool. And then you want to go to your toggle texture application. Now in the toggle texture application, select the faces you want to texture. As you can see, the only faces that are selected are the inside faces. You do that by using the paint texture application. Now let's select walls. Here in filter, type in wall to get wall textures. Let's search for a wall texture that we like the best. Mm, I'm going to go with this. Click apply. And now exit. Now we have walls. Texture. Now let's texture the floor. Let's type in f floor to get floor textures. Select that. Click apply. 
And now we got this kind of texture. Okay. To create a skybox, well, a simple skybox where you just see a sky, nothing too complicated. Go to your block tool. Come here and make a square the whole length, the whole area of your square. Come up, bring it up, and click enter. This now makes a complete block. Now what we do, get out our selection tool, right click, let's go to make hollow. We're going to make this hollow by a negative 32. Click OK. When you uh, make it hollow by a negative number, it, it makes it hollow and makes it go outwards instead of inwards. Like if you do 32, we have our standard, it's on top of here. It'll push inwards instead of outwards. Now, when we're using our selection tool and we select our box, everything's tied together. To ungroup everything, right click on it and go to ungroup. Now we can select single sides. Now what you want to do is delete the bottom one. Now click press delete. You now have deleted that. Now let's texture these. Select all the sides with our selection tool. Now go to our texture application, go to browse, Let's type in tool. tools forward slash tools space sky box. We now go to the sky box texture. Now click apply. We have now made our sky box. It's simple, nothing too hard about it. Thank you for watching tutorial number one of Hammer for Counter Strike Source. Stay tuned for more episodes in making a basic Counter Strike Source map. Thank you.